Oh, hell no. Are, you Are you serious? No. <laughs> no, man, I totally think I should know more. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Andrew from the Fung Bros here and you know we like to talk about sneakers and in recent years there have been a lot of discussion, memes and jokes about old sneakerheads versus new sneakerheads and who knows what, who's about the culture. So today I'm out here on Fairfax Ave which is the sneaker street in LA and I'm here to talk to people to one, find out if they're sneakerheads, two, find out what they know and I might have to quiz them and three, introduce a new pair of Jordans that they've never seen before. All right, guys, let's see what we find out. What is the definition of a sneakerhead in your opinion? Someone that collects shoes, someone that has a passion for shoes. They buy a lot of pair of shoes. You know, I think they, they buy what they like to buy. Uh, someone who knows the past, the history of sneakers. I've uh, been collecting since day one. Spend his food money to get a shoe. Sneakerhead is just a guy with a lot of sneakers. Sneakerhead is uh, someone who can't uh, pay the bills, you know, but they got the flyers kicks, you know. Should people who are wearing like hot sneakers right now, should they know something about the sneakers they're wearing or is it just fashion? You kind of should know what they're wearing because then what if someone stops you and asks you about it and they actually know what it is and you don't know the actual meaning behind it. I think a lot of people don't know the, the culture, uh, what's the, uh, the fashion behind it. You got to know a lot about shoes to be a sneakerhead. It's not just like the brand, it's more of like what the shoe means almost in some sort of way. Okay. I think they should just know the history behind the shoe. It's like the off-white. The whole style is like industrial, you can't just wear whatever with that industrial like shoe. Would you guys consider yourself sneakerheads? I'm almost retired, but yes. I'm on my way. Yes. I'd say yeah, probably. Absolutely, for me. Trying to be. Same, same. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got the off-whites on. Hey, shit, you are dripped out. You ready to take a sneakerhead test? Yeah. Did we get a prize? What two teams did Michael Jordan play for? Chicago and the Washington Wizards. Bulls and uh, Hornets. Red Bulls and White Sox? That's a good one. Wait, you said Red Bulls? It's from America? Where are you guys from? We are from Japan. Japan? Yeah, Japan. Where's Asics from? Asics. Asics. Asics, the brand? America. Asics is from Japan. All right, who is Phil Knight? What the? No clue. <laughs> the science guy. Phil Knight, not <laughs> Bill, Bill Nye. Nye. He's the coach of the Lakers. Let me say it. Oh, Nike, baby. Nike, right? What country is Adidas from? <laughs> America. I'm feeling stupid right now. Germany. 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 Dyson Fast Boost. Who is Adolf Dazzler? <laughs> you know, I know Adolf Hitler. Wasn't that the Hitler guy? Far off Adidas? Adidas, Dazzler, that's Adidas right there. Oh. Alright, what country is Nike from? Uh, Russia. <laughs> Why? Why Russia? <laughs> Vietnam. 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 Hey, they're probably made in Vietnam. America. What state? Beaverton, Oregon. Other than Air Jordan, what other companies does Nike own? Converse and Hurley, I think. Converse and Hurley. What number of Air Jordan are we on? 20 something. Mm, I don't even know. 23. I want to say 30, 32. 34? 34. 33. You knew that. Name two sneakers that Kanye West had the Kanye effect on. Uh, Flying It Trainer, which is Adidas Ultra Boost. Adidas Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost. Bratz? Yup. Ultra Boost. Okay. Ultra That's Boost. One. NMDs? Mm. Crocs. What is the company that Kobe signed with initially for sneakers, and then what did he retire with? He went. He was with Adidas early on. You know, he got into some trouble over in Colorado. They dropped him, and he went to Nike. Adidas, and then he ended up with Nike. It's Nike boy. What was the first color of the Yeezy 350? What was the name? Was it brown? Kanye West. The color. <laughs> Red. Turtle Dove. Turtle Dove. Yeah. Who is Virgil Abloh? He is a DJ and he does a lot of creative design work. Um, this black guy. He's a designer of Off-White and he just recently released uh, Louis Vuitton for Michael Jackson but he failed because of the Michael Jackson... How, how is that called? Yes. Reality. Yeah. Reality show, yeah. Nani? Was that crazy when Virgil Abloh left Nike to go collab with Adidas? Maybe for attention. It could be for attention. For f fame? He didn't do that, guys. That was ah! Kanye, man. Yeah. What? When did he I'm do just it? kidding. That was a trolley oh, call, man. <laughs> that was a trick question. He did that? Okay, cool. No, no, no. He didn't. He didn't. Not yet. Not yet. 
Do you think that those are questions that you should have known the answers to? Um, are those fair questions to ask? They're fair questions. They're fair questions, no doubt. I mean, I feel like most people wouldn't know those questions unless you actually like went out and did research. I know, like I like to say, I know most stuff about like recent sneakers, but I haven't okay. been really like following like retros or like older stuff. How do you guys feel as uh, fashion people after that quiz? Do you feel like, oh, I should have known some of that, I or like, you're like, I, got, I feel like I got humiliated publicly? No, oh, man, I totally think I should know more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we should be more educated. Okay. Yeah, you should know what you're rocking. All right. <laughs> Do you still feel like a sneakerhead? I think so, yeah. I think so. <laughs> I don't know anything. I feel less. Way less. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, what about you? Do you feel more like a sneakerhead? I mean, compared to them, yeah, of course. <laughs> Guess who's back? Guys, come here, come here. I want to show you this pair of Jordans. Okay. From not Air Jordan, but from Jordan Winery. What? <laughs> Get out of here. Boom! Oh, what? These are <laughs> yo, I thought this, I thought this was, yo, I thought this was uh, a prank, this but right yo, you know this is <laughs> fire! Wow, these are customs? Okay. Yeah, this yeah. Is Dipped in Cabernet. Dipped in Cabernet. Yeah. Wow. Yo, this is a real wine cork. Okay. okay. Is... What you gotta do, you gotta. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hell no. Are you, real? <laughs> are you serious? No. Oh. They got the cork in there. Those are fire. <laughs> Damn, nice what the hell? <laughs> wow. I just want to show people this. I think that's the flex right there. I like that. I, li I, I like the whole thing. Okay. I think it's dope. All right. Look this really? is a real cork screw. Gotcha. You wow. know, they got the colorway. They got the, the cork. Uh, yeah, look at this. Look at that. Like, <laughs> them glass ankles right here. I feel a little buzz just touching this. Let me, let me what'd, you, what'd you think about these shoes, man? Nice. People don't care. As long as how you wear it and how confident you are putting it on. That's it. This is all. This is everything you need to sip a wine date right here. We're just, hey, I think that is the exclusive new getup, and everybody should get them for five thousand. Yo, what do you think about these? I'd cop them. Really? Oh my oh, god! <laughs> That's Damn. so cool. I want it. You want it? You want this pair of Jordans? For real? This is an actual Jordan release that's coming out. I'm just kidding. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Jordan didn't do this. Jordan didn't do this. All right. So this is a Jordan winery. This is a a, a vineyard where they sell wine. Yeah. It's not associated with Air Jordan at all. Yeah. Oh, but do you yeah. think this would make people want to drink Jordan wine now? You know, people will be like, "Yo, what is this? What is this Jordan 2015? Did like Jordan come out with the wine? You know?" Right. But then they're gonna research it and find out. Ooh, Bro, right here. Wear these shoes. You know, drink a glass of red wine. Done. That's. That's, that's these the are wild. right there. That's these the are day. wild. These are wild. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video right there. That was so funny. It was it was definitely fun to ask people if they thought they were sneakerheads and then quiz them on it. And big shout out to Jordan Winery for sending me those custom retro Jordans because to celebrate their 2015 Cabernet Sauvignon that is coming out, guys. Definitely check out Jordan Winery if that's something that you're into. And it was just funny to see people's reactions of those. So here are my major takeaways. Obviously most people don't walk around the street quizzing people about their sneaker knowledge, but if you are going to walk up and down Fairfax saying that you're into sneakers, I think that this is basic information about the history of the brand that you should probably know. I'm just out here trying to keep people honest, man. Do you guys know the information if you call yourself a sneakerhead? So shout out to the people who got the questions right, shout out to the people who got questions wrong, and shout out to the people who felt differently about calling themselves a sneakerhead after failing that quiz. Hey, I'm not the judge, I don't know everything, I'm not the biggest sneakerhead, but I'm just out here asking questions. All right, so big shout out to Jordan's Winery for sending us those custom Air Jordan retros. Now, that is not an actual release, and they are not associated with Michael Jordan at all. They just happen to have the same name. All right, so let me know in the comments below if you thought these were fair questions to ask sneakerheads. And also let me know what your score might have been and how many you would have gotten right. All right, everybody, until next time, I'm on Fairfax. Peace! All right, guys, y'all, I got this pair. Jordan 11s. <laughs> they got a hard work. He's hard. <laughs>